Hello and welcome to IT Security Labs. And today I'm going to show you how to add a Wazoo agent to Security Onion. So Security Onion is our intrusion detection system and we need host-based intrusion uh, detection and response here. So what we need to do is make sure that on our guest machine, in this case, it's a Linux Debian system, we are going to need to send all logs to our intrusion detection system. Right now we have in the last 10 minutes only seen a few uh, Windows event logs. We actually don't have any Linux. And if we go here, I just ran the command uname minus A, we can see that we have an Ubuntu system. We need to add this to our security onion so that we can start monitoring it for host-based intrusion detection. So how does this work? First, we need to be in our security onion. We need to allow Wazoo interface here. So we run so allow in our security onion. You notice that it will allows us to open the ports for Wazoo Agent, Wazoo API, and the registration service. We are going to need these two, Wazoo Agent and Wazoo API. Without this, you will not be able to work with Wazoo. So let's enable the Wazoo Agent first, W, and a single IP address or range. In this case, I'm going to put a range. So this will allow my uh, network, as you can see, it says it already exists. So let's also allow the registration service. So we can actually um, allow the registration service. So choose R, IP address or range, 192.168.38.0 slash 24. All right, so we allow those two. You need to change this to your home IP address or home range. In this case, that's what I have. Once we do that, if we go to our client that we want to monitor, if we do an IF config, we notice that the IP address should be within the range, so IPA. IPA. So it's 192.168.30.126. Okay, so this is ready to be added. Then let's go back and add it to our secure onion ahead of time, like that. So it says add agent, that's A. I said A to add the agent, the agent name. I'm going to name it the name of the machine, Jabita. IP address 192.168.38.126. Enter. Confirm, it, confirm adding it. Yes. Then I would like to list the agents to see that it actually shows up on our list. And as you can see, it's agent 004. So we actually have it already added. Now we just need to extract the key, put E, find, provide the ID 004. Now this is the key to register this agent that I need to extract. So the agent has been added to the Security Onion server. Now we just need to finish installing the Wazoo agent software on the actual agent. To do that, just go to the Wazoo documentation. Just note that Security Onion supports three, version 3.13. The newest version might not be supported. So we go here. Uh, this is the installation guide. We say, hey, we want a Linux installer. You see, under Linux installer, we have all these. We have Ubuntu uh, from packages. What we can do from sources, it doesn't matter. Install the agent like this. Let's get the requirements in place. So on our client, we need to go ahead and install. Yes. Here it's saying, hey, we want to do that. We just accept all the defaults here. Hit tab, okay. All right, actually coming back here, we need to install it first using curl. So, so let's do that. So add the key for the Wazoo systems, then um, add the repository. Then after adding the repository apt update, we can obviously put this in a simple script so that we don't have to do it over and over again. I'll probably do that in the future, but for now I'm just showing you uh, so for installing, we have a couple options. We can just up to install Wazoo Agent or 
you can do it using option B, where you put the Wazoo Manager, then up to get install Wazoo Agent. I like this one better. So we're going to just put our, our Wazoo Manager here. This is your security onion IP address. So this not only installs the Wazoo Agent, but it will also update the configuration file and try to register the agent for us. So let's go ahead and paste that. So it's setting it up. So the agent should have the manager in the configuration file. All right. So which services should you should be restarted? I, I guess we'll, we'll restart that and hit tab system CTL status wazoo dash agent is it running all right so it looks like it's dead inactive verify by going here saying more in this file so we see our IP address is here so that's good So we're going to run minus I, then put the key that we have. So copy the key from the security onion, run it on the client. It says, hey, are you sure you confirm you want, confirm you want to edit? Say yes. So now as you can see, it found it with the name that we have it there. Enable wazoo-agent. So that it can start when the system restarts. So instead of enabling, let's also start it. And then let's check the status very quickly as well after it comes online. All right, now let's check the status. All right, the agent is happy and it's running. This is just going to send the default logs to our security onion. So if we go back to our security onion instance, right now, this is what we ran last time. We didn't have anything. We should start seeing the agent showing up here. There we go. So all these uh, initial checks are from that agent. And to confirm that our agent is actually checking in, we need to go to, let's go to this root check and drill down. And if you go here, you'll notice that the agent name is called Jabira. Here's agent IP. And here's the root check that it did on the system. So our agent is checking in. Now we can add any custom rules that we want for this agent. And we can also add more tools like audit bit, um, I mean, audit D to audit the system. And I'll be doing that in the next videos. But for now, I just wanted to show you how to add the Wazoo agent. So thank you for being here. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and also join me every Sunday at 9 p.m. For live streams where i'll be using these systems for detection and intrusion detection thank you very much and i'll see you later